Hello everyone, this is Nora and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is actually super exciting because I'm reviewing perfumes. I haven't done a perfume video on my channel. It's been a long, long time, let me tell you that. Today I'm going to be reviewing Dossier perfumes. They sent me two of their perfumes and I cannot wait to share the notes and the scents with you guys. So before I go ahead and do that, if you are new here to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by and watching my video. And if you guys haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And I would love to have you guys a part of the light family that I have here on my channel. So if you guys want to smell good with me, please keep on watching. First of all, thank you so much for Dossier for contacting me and sending me these perfume for you guys. I will leave all the information you need to know about Dossier in the description box down below. But the one thing I need to tell you guys is that they are amazing. So if you are looking for a perfume or you have your eye on an expensive perfume and they might have it on their website for way cheaper, believe it or not. Basically, they get you guys the same notes as the perfume that you want and they put it down in a different kind of perfume and you can get it for way cheaper. There's some perfumes on their website that can go up to $39, but there's also some perfumes that could go up to $29. It depends which one you choose. Also, what's really cool is that they've been featured on Teen Vogue, Insider, BuzzFeed, Fashionista, ET, Inside Hook, AD, MSN, Apartment Therapy, and Who, What, Where. These are big brands, you guys, and the fact that Dossier has been featured by these, I mean, just go on their website and start shopping. They were super nice enough to contact me and send me two of their perfumes. I got to choose the perfumes that I wanted and I'm really, really excited to show you guys what they have sent me. I don't know which one to start off with, but I guess I'm gonna start off with the Amber Vanilla. So they come in their own little boxes, very secure. So if you guys are wondering, these came very securely in. So like that, you guys don't have to worry about them breaking or leaking or anything like that. I mean, if you do come across any of those issues just contact them and they'll be more than happy to replace it or refund you guys as well so just keep that in mind but they do come securely nothing happened to my perfumes and they are super cutely packaged and they come like this first of all i absolutely love their packaging i love simple light minimum kind of packaging and this is exactly what it is this one here it is my first one just to let you guys know a little bit about my taste in perfumes. I do get a little bit picky with my perfumes. I'm not really a flora kind of person at all. Flora perfumes are kind of like the least perfumes that I really like, except on the notes. If it has a little bit of flora inside, but it's mixed with something else, there's a big chance that I might like it. But also I am such a fruity, sweet slash fresh kind of girl as well. So I'm kind of like in between both. I really like the amber, vanilla, dark spicy side but I also really like the soft very um, citrusy um, very sweet kind of side so I'm kind of like in between both but it depends the perfume giving you guys an example of my favorite sweet perfume I absolutely love the Viva La Juicy which is kind of like an iconic perfume for me and it's kind of a perfume that I always purchase because I really like it when it comes to flora the only one that I can think about that I really really like is Marc Jacobs Daisy um, which is kind of also one of my favorite perfumes as well that I really kind of like to wear it is more flowery but it's very very light on the flower and it has a little bit of hint of sweet in it too I honestly don't know the notes that this perfume has. I'm just sharing my favorite perfumes with you guys. Then when it comes to the spicy side, I kind of like a few, a couple that pops in my head. I really like one, a Burberry perfume that it kind of has a, um, like a cloth wrapped around the bottle. This is quite spicy-ish when it comes to perfume, which I really like. I also like the Mugler, the alien one, gold one. And I also like, again, another Mugler uh, alien, which is the purple one. Um, these are my favorite ones too. And um, another amber perfume that's popping in my head that I really like, Michael Kors amber perfume, which is really good too. So you see, I'm kind of like a mix 
of everything. Oh, and another sweet perfume that I really like, um, the Vera Wang Princess, the Purple Heart. It's just one of my favorites. So the first one right here, this is the Amber Vanilla. See, the reason why I chose it is because uh, this is inspired by the YSL Black Opium Lot de Parfum, which is Black Opium is a perfume that I've been wanting to try for the longest, longest time. And the top notes in this perfume, you have Mandarin Pear, pink pepper licorice medium tones you have jasmine orange blossom and base tones you have cedarwood patchouli vanilla and coffee all of that just give it to me these are definitely my tones of perfumes that i really like so i'm quite excited to see if this is going to smell like the YSL black opium and if you guys are wondering about the concentration of this this is 15% concentrated um so i guess in scent wise packaging really small i absolutely love it it's perfect for traveling um since it's small you can basically carry it take one perfume with you on the go and if you don't if if you don't want to risk on taking your expensive perfume in case it breaks, had a lot of perfumes that I traveled with, which they are pretty expensive, that they ended up leaking in my bag, which I don't even know how that happened, but I'm glad to have kind of like something similar in a smaller form that if it leaks or whatever, then it's, it's fine. Uh, but yeah, you, I, I can always repurchase from Dossier. <laughs> Basically here on the packaging right here, you will have the top note, middle note and base note written for you guys. You have the name of the perfume that is also written and you also have Dossier's logo right here. But it is a transparent bottle, really nice cap. And when you open it up, this is a magnet. Let's go ahead and smell it. Just keep in mind that if this perfume smells good on me, there's a chance that it won't smell as good on you because everybody's skin and skin type is different. I guess like we all project different pH if that is even a thing but I do notice that sometimes a perfume that smells good on my mom doesn't really mean it smells good on me and it's kind of like vi vice versa there's perfumes that she loves on me but she hates on herself my mom as well she is a huge perfume fanatic she is a huge perfume collector and trust me when we go shopping for perfumes it is basically hell because she just takes the perfume and starts spraying it on herself she doesn't even know like what's the tones and what will suit her and most of the time that I'll be with her I'll be like mom you're like you smell like Sephora right now and there's a lot of times she said oh I feel nauseous oh my head hurts I'm like yeah because of all the amount of perfume you just sprayed on yourself so let's go ahead and spray this on here and see how it's gonna smell on myself and a lot of people tend to rub the perfume I don't recommend you to do that just let it sit because I know the first oh Ooh, girl, this smells phenomenal. Oh my God, it does smell like the opium. Ooh, I absolutely love it. Okay, like I was saying before I jump into the scent and talk a little bit about the notes and if I do smell what they indicated, um, basically perfumes when you first spray just don't rub on it the first scent that you are probably gonna get in perfumes is alcohol which is quite normal just give it some time and you will slowly start smelling the perfume itself also uh, one thing about perfume so if you have l'eau de parfum and you have l'eau de toilette l'eau de toilette is less concentrated than the l'eau de parfum l'eau de toilette is always made a little bit lighter than l'eau de parfum l'eau de parfum comes to be a little bit more heavier and that's gonna last a little bit longer on your skin the reason why i know that is because my dad um he worked in perfumes before and he explained a lot of perfumes and you can go figure why my mom is so fanatically about perfumes like myself and like my father as well my father worked in perfumes and cosmetics so you can see where i came in the picture and why I'm so in love with beauty in general is literally because of him so you do have two different sides of perfume now I'm talking to you guys and I'm smelling this perfume and it smells so freaking good I love that spiciness of the perfume I definitely smell the uh, cedar wood in there I definitely smell the patchouli it is quite discreet and the more I smell it I start smelling the mandarin and I smell a little bit of the pear as well. Um, licorice, 
not so much i don't smell the licorice at all also the jasmine i don't really smell it that much in this perfume it is more on the um, more woodsy side than um sweet side you know since it does have mandarin pear it also has licorice orange blossom so these are kind of all like sweet kind of scent but i definitely smell more the cedarwood the pichelli i do smell a little bit of the vanilla I don't smell the coffee as much. It's very, very discreet. That's why it's like mainly more on the base note. But overall, this smells phenomenal. Does it smell like the opium from YSL? Definitely, I would have to say it's like almost like the same dupe. It's, it's, it's crazy. I'm totally obsessed with this. This is definitely my perfume. This is definitely a perfume that I see myself wearing night times and mainly more on like winter fall times it's kind of like very warm as a scent definitely definitely recommend this one it's called ambery vanilla i thought it was amber vanilla but it's actually ambery vanilla i will leave it in the description box down below with all the notes that you need to know about it and also the price i believe this one here is retailed for 39 dollars oh no this is actually i'm kind of mistaken this one rates here for 29 dollars also i just noticed is that they also have perfumes that are 40 dollars so yeah it kind of ranged between 29 39 and 49 again it all depends on what you want to get oh it's so good it's so good i can't get over it next perfume this one here is called fruity honey so i really wanted to try the two sides i really wanted to try the spicy side and i really wanted to try the sweet side so now we're driving into the sweet side i can't sense designer quality no makeup Period. I'm gonna go over the notes with you guys, but I'm also going to let you know what is this inspired by. So the reason why I chose this is because I smelled this perfume and I was like, oh my god, it's a little bit expensive. I'm gonna wait on it. And then when they contacted me and I was reading through the inspired perfumes and I saw this and I'm like, what? I am so getting this. I am so trying this. And so this one here is inspired by perfume from Jo Malone and this is the Nectarine Blossom and Honey Collagen. Um, who doesn't like Jo Malone's perfumes? I mean, they're just iconic. I love it. It's kind of like the Tom Ford's for me. I find their perfumes are so unique and so different that, you know, they just get you. They get you the minute you smell them. You're like, I want it. The top notes, you have black Current, green leaves medium tone you have honey and nectarine and then base tones you have peach and vetiver i'm not sure what vetiver is maybe i'm spelling it wrong as well i will leave it in the screen so you guys could read it but that is what it is and then concentration this is 18 percent concentration it's a little bit more than the ambery vanilla again same packaging same everything just the name of it it's just in a different color i guess because it's more on the softer side so let's go ahead and spray this baby up i'm gonna be spraying it on my other hand so i'm gonna give it two spritz oh this is so fresh Okay, I am honestly blown away on how legit these smell. It smells exactly like the Jo Malone. Like, I'm not even joking with you guys. This smells phenomenal. I definitely smell the nectarine. I have to say that. It's very sweet. So it is a sweet, but it's not kind of like a sweet that is overwhelming sweet. Don't think about sweets like um, like cakes and, and candies and stuff like that. No, it's sweet more on the fruity side, which is exactly what the name says, fruity honey. You have that smell of the nectarine, but then you have the peach that kind of kicks in a little bit. And the green leaves is what gives it that fresh kind of smell to it. Black currant, I thought black currant will smell a little bit like heavier or more spicier. But I don't smell it. Mm. I would say it's like there, but it's not uh, overpowering. The vitivier, vit, vit, vitivier? <laughs> that I kind of like smell in the background a little bit. Um, for me, it's kind of like maybe more like lemony-ish. This definitely smells like the Nectarine Bloom and Honey Collagen from Jo Malone and I absolutely love the smell of it. They literally got me. This is definitely a website that I'm going to introduce to my mom, that's for sure, first of all. Second of all, um, I want more perfumes from them because honestly, I'm like completely 
blown away on how accurate these smell and the fact that they give you the notes in the perfume i mean who doesn't like that this one here for me it's definitely a uh, more summery kind of perfume like it's something that i would wear in the summertime something that i would kind of wear like every day to go out or whatever even like to work or whatever because it's not super overpowering and for sure this is definitely a smell that i know people are going to approach me and say what's your perfume so even this one as well you know i get approached all the time and saying hey what's your perfume what do you have on also one thing you need to know about perfumes maybe a lot of you guys know or maybe you don't know that if you do wear a perfume and everybody else smells it and you don't smell it that perfume is made for you basically it's a perfume that works best for you i'm trying to see if they're gonna smell good together and they definitely do i don't know if you're that type of person that likes to mix their perfumes with other perfumes i mean why not you can get the sweet side and you can get the spicy side mixed in together, wear it for the day and see how that goes. Why not? Alright you guys, this is the end of my review. I have to say I am totally obsessed with Dossier at this moment. I think I found my new love of perfumes and if ever I do want to purchase a perfume, Dossier is the way to go for me to be honest. I will link their website down below for you guys and you can go ahead and check out what they have and check out all their inspired by perfumes because a lot of perfumes in there that you might find and that you have your eye on it and that you can get it for cheaper. Just wanted to let you guys know that yes they did contact me and yes they did send me these perfumes for free and I gave you guys my genuine review on here. It's not because they sent it to me for free that I'm telling you guys go ahead and try it. Yes, I highly recommend it. I mean, if the perfume did not smell good, I would definitely tell you guys that the perfume did not smell good. But honestly, I'm just giving you guys my genuine and honest review. And I have to say, these are amazing dupes of two perfumes that I've been eyeing for a while. And the fact that they have them in way cheaper, why not? Everybody wants to save money. Economy is becoming really expensive, but we all want to smell so good. And if you want to smell so good, check out Dossier. Honestly, I am totally obsessed with them. I can't wait to try these on make my mom smell them as well because i know she's probably gonna snatch them away from me which is okay it's fine i give everything to my mom anyways <laughs> but i'm also gonna fight for them because they smell absolutely insane <laughs> on that note thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed my review and also if you have any questions or concerns just leave them all in the comments down below and everything like i mentioned everything that you need to know about dossier and also my perfumes that i chose they're going to be linked in the description box down below thank you guys so much for watching and i'll talk to you later bye